Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's and I hope that you all had a wonderful time with your friends and family. Now, a lot of people have asked me about certain products, where I got them, um, like lipsticks, eyeshadows, mascaras, things of that nature. And as you, if you haven't guessed from the title of the video already, I wanted to share where I got a lot of my products. I really don't even buy makeup as much as I used to just because I've accumulated so many samples from my Birchbox and Ipsy subscriptions and I just wanted to compare the two and give you some honest reviews about each one, pros, cons, what I like and dislike, and I hope that you'll be able to take this information to consideration if you are considering either of these. So I hope you find this information helpful and let's get started. So with my Ipsy bag, this is the one that I received for the month of December. Um, I usually receive my bags around the middle of the month, so Ipsy, I usually have it in my mailbox by the 17th of the month. And I always get a small little bag like this one. And it's usually good to keep in my purse and keep little things in it that I would normally carry with me in my handbag. So uh, I like that I receive this. I'm going to do a more detailed um, video of what's inside in a separate clip coming up, but just wanted to show you what it looks like. And then my birch box is comes in a box like this one. And basically, um, it also has five products inside that I'm going to share with you in a little bit as well, but just wanted to show these to you right off the bat so you can kind of see what they look like and how they come when you receive them in the mail. So starting with my Ipsy bag for December, um, I got this red bag in the mail as I mentioned earlier. I usually, it usually comes in small little bags like so. And then I get a cute little note card like this one um, with just information from the company and then a small little one from this one from the owner of the company, the founder of the company, Michelle Fon. So that's what I received there. And then just to give you a brief overview of what I received this month, um, I got a an eyeshadow palette from Michelle's company, EM. And this one's actually really good because it's a full size eyeshadow palette. So I usually don't receive full size products like this. So this is really awesome that I received something like this this month. And then uh, the rest of the stuff is mostly skincare. So I got this moisture mask that's for envir environmentally stressed skin. And then I got a sample of the serum from Cloud Delay. And then I got this natural lipstick from Pacifica. And I got this nail polish from Formula X. This is uh, kind of like a gold shimmery color so got this one and i really like these products that the that they're travel size so i'm able to put them like in my carry-on bag and they're easy to travel with and have on the go with me so that makes it really easy to, as well so these are the five products I, I received from ipsy this month and so you can get an idea of like the size of the samples that comes with them um one thing i wish that ipsy would would include is like the products that they sent me maybe on their card so that way I can remember like which products I get from Ipsy and which from from Birchbox because sometimes I do like a product and I don't remember where it came from so it would be helpful if they had like the list of the products here maybe how to use it which Birchbox does have something like that so I can show you that so for my Birchbox from December this is what I received and I like to collect the boxes sometimes because they have really cute designs and you can put different things in there. Like I like to store some of my makeup in there, my lipsticks and things like that. So these come in handy. And I also love to collect the tissue paper too because you can also use that for like gift wrapping and things like that. So for my birch box for December, these are the five products I received. Um, the first thing I got was this Wrap Boy blush. So again, it's just like a nice travel sample size of that. Gives me an idea of how the color will look. So I like that I can try different things and be able to experiment. Um, I also got this eyeshadow sampler from Postal Sense. 
and I got this travel size sunscreen from Kula. So this comes in handy because I always need moisturizer with sunscreen. So this is something I can never have enough of. And then I received this hand cream from Soap and Butter, I think is the name. Or yeah. And then I got this hair product from Amika. It's a shield style extending spray. And again, it's great for for traveling because it's um it's only 0.75 ounces, so it's pretty good. So just to see, especially you can see all of them together again. These are uh, the products that I received here, and I also received a ten dollars off the Birchbox shop, and um, this is really good to come in handy because it's basically like store credit, and you can use it towards anything in the Birchbox shop for $35 or more, so I'll definitely be taking advantage of that in the next couple of days. And they also send this little postcard size card in with their boxes, and what I mentioned earlier, I like that they have all the products listed here, and they kind of have a brief description about what each one is and the prices of them, so I can kind of get an idea of if it's something that I would like to purchase in the future. So that makes it really helpful as well. The only thing that I would suggest to include on here is maybe the size of the product once you purchase them because that I take that into consideration when I'm purchasing products is about the size. So I would just include that but other than that um, this is really helpful and makes me um, know how much each product is without having to go online and look it up. So I just wanted to show you the Birchbox uh, description that I received versus the Ipsy one just so you can kind of get a comparison of the two. As you can see with my Ipsy, I received a couple of full-size products like the lipstick and the eyeshadow versus the Birchbox which are all miniature sample sizes. Um, like for example, like this eyeshadow, I can compare it to this one. It's obviously a much better value and I paid the same amount for both of them. So they're both $10 a month. I feel like a lot of the products that I receive in my Ipsy are bigger sizes. They have more um, full-size products in them than the Birchbox does. But Birchbox does come with more recognized uh, like brands. For example, I've received like Stila and Urban Decay in my Birchbox before. And it's, I mean, they're both really, really good. It just depends on what you're more interested in if you want something more value for your money, I would probably recommend Ipsy, but if you're more into like brand name products, then maybe Birchbox is the one for you. And also the bag, if you like to collect the bags too, then that's something also good to have for from the Ipsy subscription. I've been subscribed to both of them for about two years now, if not longer, and I'm really happy with both of them. So I've been continuing with them just because I like to try different items and like to experiment with different products. So yeah, I hope you guys found this information helpful. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you thought about these reviews and if you are considering getting either of them or if you have any additional comments on either of these subscription services. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful start to your year. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.